Hey guys, welcome to the Halloween special of Beauty Beacons. Today I'm going to be talking about Bathory Erschebet, or Elizabeth Bathory. She was a countess in Hungary in the late 16th to early 17th centuries, and she is also the biggest serial murderess in history. She was accused of torturing and murdering hundreds of young women in her castles, and of course, the most known story or legend about her is that she would bathe in the blood of virgins to preserve her youth and beauty. Now, I'm sad to say that the whole bathing in blood thing isn't true, neither was she a vampire, as was said of her later in time, but there has been a trial during her lifetime of not her but her uh, accomplices in this where several accusations were made and these include severe beatings, burning, mutilation, the biting of flesh off of body parts, starving and freezing to death and also the use of needles. There was a lot of evidence to support this and 300 people have testified against the accomplices of Elizabeth in the trial. So it is pretty much certain that this did happen, the torture and murder did take place. Now, the reason why she wasn't tried is because she was one of the highest members of Hungarian nobility and trying and executing her would have been very bad for their social standing and status. So they chose instead to not have a trial for her and just keep her locked away inside her castle. She was actually bricked in into her quarters with only a couple of slits left open to allow her to breathe and receive a little bit of food. And she was kept in this um, confinement until her death four years later. So like I mentioned, 300 people testified in the trial and many of these were servants and eyewitnesses and even survivors of the tortures um, of Elizabeth Bathory. It is said that all but one servant testified and they actually found bodies and wounded people, imprisoned women that were looking really bad in the castle at the time that Elizabeth was arrested. So Elizabeth's accomplices were the ones who lured in the young women. Young women were lured into the castle on promises of, you know, a good job at the court, working as a serving maiden, or they were just plain abducted. And after they would enter the castle they would be locked up and tortured and killed. Now, even though this was kind of kept on the down low by the Hungarian nobility at the time it happened, it was made public after a certain amount of time. And by that time, of course, Elizabeth Battery went down in history. It is a fascinating story, many people found it really interesting and that's how legends started to develop about, you know, the bathing in blood of virgins and her being a vampire, which have very little base in reality, because in reality she was probably just a very sadistic person that enjoyed watching other people suffer, um, and especially young ladies, because that's the people she went for. So even though she's not really a beauty beacon, um, <laughs> and we only have one surviving picture of her, I thought she would be a nice person to cover in this Halloween special. So I'm going to show you how to get her look, something, my interpretation of what she might have looked like. She, um, in the one portrait that we do have of her, she's wearing a bonnet over her head, so I took a little bit of artistic liberty with this and created this look. So for the makeup I'm going to keep it really simple. This is the renaissance we're talking about. So I'm only going to apply a little bit of foundation and some concealer to just even out my skin tone. Then apply a little bit of mascara on my top and bottom lashes to make them look a little bit fuller. And I'm going to leave it at that when it comes to makeup. This is the renaissance after all. So for the hair I decided to go for a crown braid. So I started braiding on one side of my head and I'm going to make a Dutch lace braid all around my head. So I just divide my hair into three sections and then I start braiding by turning these sections underneath each other and always adding hair to the outer section of my head. If you want a more detailed tutorial on doing the crown braid I have a video for that on my channel. So I'm going to go all around my head and when I reach the top again, the place where I started, I'm going to finish this braid and wrap the tail around my head and then pin it in place so that it doesn't go anywhere. So then I decided to embellish my braid with some pearls. So I laid one string of pearls on top of the braid and one in front of the braid. And then for accessories I wore this necklace which is pretty similar to the one that she is wearing in the painting. And then of course it's time for the fake blood. I am using Van Nuys stage blood but you can use 
whatever you have. Um, Cornstarch with a little bit of water and red food coloring works really well if you don't have anything similar to blood. <laughs> and I just, um, yeah, made some smears on my face and a little bit around the corner of my mouth. You know, kind of as if I bit someone's flesh off. <laughs> And then just a little bit on the hands, because why not? And there is your Elizabeth Bathory look done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below which beauty beacon, historical beauty icon, actual historical beauty icon you would like to see next week when I will be back with a regular episode of Beauty Beacons. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye!